Hello, my name is Mike, and today you join me in the 2020 Volvo XC60 T8 Polestar Engineered. Yeah, that's right. Volvo has a performance division, just like Mercedes AMG or BMW M. If you didn't know that, well, now you know. So what makes this Volvo different than all the other Volvos? Well, it's the fact that it's a hybrid, well, a high performance hybrid. So it's driven by a two liter turbocharged and supercharged engine that produces 316 horsepower all on its own. And then it's given an electric motor which powers the back wheels and an electric generator on the engine itself. The total system output is 415 horsepower and 497 pound-feet of torque. However, what may sound pretty good on paper, it unfortunately doesn't really translate that well in real life. Yes, 400, almost 500 pound-feet of torque actually sounds like a lot, like you'll get a really good kick in your back when you accelerate. But even if I put it into Polestar engineered mode, which is its high performance mode, and I floor it, yeah, the speed increases, but it just doesn't feel as fast as I was expecting it to be. And that's the frustrating part. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not calling it slow by any means, but on paper, you think that it's this fast, but then in reality, it feels more like it's this fast, if that makes any sense to you. And that's the frustrating part. But it's not all about outright performance because if you put it into hybrid or pure mode, then you can drive the XC60 on electricity alone. It's rated at around 32 kilometers of pure electric driving range, which may not sound like a whole lot, but it can be charged from a level two charging station just like every other plug-in hybrid. So in the morning when you drive to work, you plug it in and in about two hours, it's fully charged. Then you drive it home, plug it in again at home, and it's fully charged for your next day. If you plan your trips ahead of time, you can actually go for weeks on end without refueling. As for the handling dynamics of the XC60 Polestar, it uses slightly different suspension than any other performance SUV. First off, it has a composite leaf spring in the rear. Yeah, a leaf spring, just like older generations of the Chevy Corvette. Secondly, it utilizes manually adjustable Olin's dampers. Normally the driver can adjust the stiffness or the softness of the suspension with a button in the cabin, but if you want to do that in the XC60 Polestar, you have to open the hood and turn a knob on the top of each damper. It's the same story in the rear dampers, but what's worse is that the adjustment knob is in the wheel wells, which makes it very difficult to reach. However, odd tuning adjustments aside, the XC60 Polestar can hold its own against other sporty SUVs on a twisty mountain road. It's by no means a Porsche Cayenne, but the steering doesn't feel bland or disconnected from the front wheels. Sitting in the driver's seat, I have plenty of space as it should be. Plenty of legroom, plenty of headroom. I am six foot four, so if you're a taller person like myself, you have plenty of space. Sitting behind my driving position, it's actually really, really good because I have good enough leg room and good enough headroom. So I'm not, I don't feel squished in the back seat, even behind my six foot four stature. The interior materials are for the most part, pretty good. There's leather on the steering wheel, leather on the dash, obviously leather on the seats, but the rest is plastics. I mean, there's plastics on the center console, on the doors, 
However, I will say this, I do like the fact that on the center console at least, they raised the carpet all the way up so it minimizes the amount of plastics that they had to use. It's a really nice feature and it would be nice if other companies that started doing the same thing. The regular Volvo XC60 is already pretty good looking and it really stands out in a very crowded SUV market. This Polestar engineered XC60 builds upon the styling with these optional 22 inch wheels and massive Akebono brakes. There's also a Polestar badge on the grille, the back hatch and the exhaust tips. The interior remains relatively unchanged from the regular XC60. The vertically mounted touchscreen is the main focal point but you'll know that you've stepped into a special Volvo thanks to the gold seat belts. In all, it's a really nice place to be in for longer road trips or if you're just stuck in everyday traffic. So, is the 2020 Volvo XC60 T8 Polestar engineered worth it? Well, it starts at $90,000 Canadian, and that's a lot of money. However, other luxury hybrid SUVs cost a lot more than this. So you can say that it is worth it. But, its biggest problem is its little brother the XC60 T8 R design. That one starts at $72,000 Canadian. Granted, with that one you get a tiny bit less horsepower, 400, a tiny bit more less torque. Uh, you don't get these Akebono brakes or these 22 inch wheels and you lose features like the heads up display or the uh, pilot assist, although they are options so you can put them back on. But if you just want a hybrid luxury SUV for $72,000, the R design is your better bet. This Polestar engineered, it just costs way too much for that. If you do want all the features, then yes, this one is definitely worth it. Anyway, if you want to know more about the Volvo XC60 Polestar engineered, I wrote a detailed review of it over on mgreviews.com, link is in the video description down below. And thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next car. Or sitting next to the next car, it's quite cold. <laughs>